This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express. So we're live on SABC3. Now, when it comes to the 15th annual Poiki and Mampur Festival, well, no one understands a Poiki better than everyone at this festival. It's all about uh, the challenge and overcoming uh, everything with the ingredients. And when it comes to Poiki, it's also about the tricks. Now, in our espresso kitchen, we understand culinary delights. When it comes to understanding a Poiki, no one does it better than everyone at this festival. A highlight of the Poiki and Mampur Fest at Stonehaven on the Val River is, of course, the Poiki course cook-off. This year saw an interesting twist to the competition as teams weren't allowed to pick their main ingredients but were assigned a mystery meat. Carla, tell us a little bit about your Poiki. What mystery ingredient did you get? Well, unfortunately, we got chicken to use for a meat, so we are making a chicken cream Poiki. We cooking lamb and uh, we tried to you know mix and match our ingredients because we didn't know what to expect but we're doing our best do you know the secret to the perfect poiki opinions recipes and strategies differed and it was game on the secret to a great poiki is just patience a lot of patience and um, not too much heat you must keep the poiki warm not just sim let it simmer the spices must get into the meat, and the meat must be soft and must just taste absolutely divine. The judging process was left to a panel of veteran Poikikos makers. A symphony of simmering pots and crackling fires filled the air, and the judges knew what they wanted from the top pot. It shouldn't become mushy, it shouldn't become grey. It's almost like painting. You want to, at the end of the day, if you're painting the oils, you want to know, see the individual colours. You, because as soon as you start mixing them too much, it all becomes a, a, a terrible grey. And, and that is unfortunately what happens with a poiki if you, if you do overcook it. And you don't add your ingredients at exactly the right time. If you do a poiki not with the correct method, your end result will not be correct. So the proof will be in the pudding with tasting. Okay, Team Lekabin has finally offered me a taste after a lot of reluctance, I should say. But I am going to have a bite. It's super tender. And I'm, just for the record, I'll just cut this with a butter knife. Mm -hmm. It's brothy, it's hearty, it's boozy. It's everything a poiki should be in my mind. The 10 teams presented their poikis one by one. Judging was serious business. After a lot of deliberation, it was Team Extra Space that won the day. We had quite a traditional recipe. I mean, it was a lamb poiki, something that we all know very, very well. Yes. What did you do to the, the, the recipe that made it that special, that really sort of tantalized the, the taste buds of the judges? I think uh, the difference with the pot was is that the sauce, it was its own sauce. There was no sauce added. We added a little bit of uh, jalapeno and also lemon zest. And um, I think that just put us over there. If you love food around the fire, the Stonehaven's Poiki and Mampur Festival should be on your must-see, must-do calendar.